welcome mm. back to uh, uh, part two, I guess, of the Mask and Pipe Friendship, which I believe I decided to call this this run. Um, you guys were just handed a a data chip, a box of something that shifts around like sand, and a uh, a cred stick that had about four thousand Nubian on it. You guys are still sitting in the, the white stag having your little very awkward meeting. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Does Jurgen oh. have any sort of tracking RFIDs? Jurgen is magic. You're right I am there. magic. You sound like you're having a child that just wandered into somebody else's room. <laughs> <laughs> Water went down the wrong pipe. Got but it. I have important things to to ask. Say, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I I can summon a spirit and have my spirit track that person. Yes, absolutely. Do you need to ascend a person before you do that? Would that help? Um. No. No, okay. ascending wouldn't help. But I feel like I can get a good enough description on him from Grog, since Grog knows him, that I can describe it successfully to the spirit. You have straight up seen this guy's face. Okay. Like well, I wasn't that. sure if it, like, I mean, I knew, I knew, I know I could describe him to that, but I wasn't sure if it would help with familiarity, like other things about the guy that I wouldn't know. I wasn't sure how much information a spirit might need. His favorite sports bar. Yeah, I right. Yeah. Be useful. Um, okay. <clears throat> On the sub folk, of course. Um, so, oh, he told me what his favorite beer was. Yes. Yep. Could you expound upon that, please, with a fake name generated somewhere? Uh, sure. For me. Fake beer name generator. Generate. Portis Bastard Albert No. Lobenstein. This is great because this one is totally the Frisky Santa Pale Ale. Did you say Frisky <laughs> Santa Pale Ale? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I like the concept of somebody just being like, you got the Frisky Santa? Yeah. Did you guys ever see the Bad Santa movie? Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. There's a second one. I don't know if it's come out yet. There's it's a second coming one. out. I'm actually there kind is. of excited about it. <laughs> uh, right. So, are we going with Frisky Santa? No, because that's that's obviously their seasonal brew. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to go with the Anaconda malt liquor. Yeah, that sounds something that's sleazy and cheap that he would actually get into. Sure. We'll go with the Anaconda malt liquor. It makes you go, woo. <clears throat> Thank you. And somehow drinking malt liquor makes this guy more of a douchebag. <laughs> Instantly. Okay. That's good. I'm not sure if that's actually going to come back at any point. But I hope it does. I mean, it's up to you guys to, uh, to um, decide whether yeah. that's going to be. Um. Okay. Anything else I wanted to talk to him about? Don't think... I'm good for things that I and Tilt want to know. If there's anything Grog or Jurgen would like to know, Tilt would be happy to use his his mouth. His talky word man's. No, to there's nothing else better. that I can think of. Um, time frame, time frame, time frame. You had ten. He days. said ten days. Ten days. Ten days. Uh, we'll say that today is a. Let's make today a Wednesday because I like doing that. Yeah, you do. I mean, um, I'm not gonna lie. When they ask for what the weather is in in Seattle, I totally Google Seattle weather conditions. <laughs> um, ask him if he uh, 
knows any tech heads that might be able to uh, acquire decks for us. Thinking specifically about linking up with one of the other guys that ditched me for dead. That was part of it. Uh, his name was Klaus. However, I don't know if he'd actually <clears throat> still know him. So you're just going to ask? Uh... I would have. I, I'd have Tilt ask it for me. Sure. To, how would it, you like it, to word that? Because some of that may lead on to things. Looking to acquire new decks, new cyber decks, and things of the technological sort, um, more advanced, you know, cyberware and whatnot, which is what Klaus was really into. He was the, I'm, I very much need to have all of the new shiny cyber stuff and have to have the, you know, uh, the, the newest model car came out. I have to go out and get that one now and turn in this other one, even though it's only three months old. So I would, I would definitely be phrasing it in the matter of, you know, we're looking for um, new tech and new decks, and we haven't exactly been in this part of the neighborhood as of yet to look around. And that's to me. Yes, right. that's to you. Okay. So you can uh, ask it to to Klaus because I'm too busy glaring at him and if I try to open my mouth I'd probably just growl at him <laughs> um, uh, let's see if there's a way I can make that sound condescending if you want you may roll etiquette to attempt to make it roll condescending if you don't have the, the actual words for it I'm, you, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to attempt to use my brain can, uh -oh. if I attempt to use my brain there's no fault it's either or right I mean so, like, you're just trying to, to insult the dude. <laughs> it's not going to, it's air quotes, not going to have anything bad. Ha like, he's not going to suddenly not pay you, right? Like, a minor yeah. insult that he may or may not understand is. I just want to uh, throw it back at him when he's been throwing at us. Sure. You know? Um, all right, mate. Uh, one other thing, uh, we are very much meat space uh, operation at the moment, uh, and uh, we would like to be getting into the, uh, you know, the ethereal of the uh, electrical, if you know what I'm talking about there, right? If you know anyone that could get us in touch with somebody that might be able to, you know, find us something new and shiny, you know, of a, uh, you know, uh, what do they call it? What do they call it? Uh, you remember? Oh, no, you're not. You know, it's like a it's like a comlink, mate, but it's much bigger and used for much more interesting endeavors. You know what I'm talking about? Do you know anyone that could get us in touch with something like that? You know what I'm talking about there. So he's gonna. <clears throat> oh, at that point, yeah. I'm gonna lean down. <clears throat> he means cyber decks, in case you <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> Look at this guy just cutting right to the point. I, I gotta make him feel stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm not talking about him as in tilt. I'm talking about him as right. in the guy. Yeah. We're working to the same goal here. <laughs> yes. I want him to feel bad. And I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's gonna, like, I thought you said you could do this. Oi! Oh, I didn't say we couldn't do this. I just, you know, I'm in between people that can find me that sort of thing. And, you know, your job, as you said, is pish easy. Uh, but the next one I might have might not be. And, you know, if you know people that do things like we do, you know, might as well ask. You know what I mean? Don't you worry about you. This is all just for me. What will so be a bit of a tech head nowadays. <laughs> He's going to look back and forth between his minion and just kind of like... Yeah, I might know a guy with that kind of like, I don't know what's going on. This is, this is strange. Why aren't they, why are they still here? <laughs> uh, well, mate, uh, it was wonderful meeting you. If uh, I'll send him the, uh... okay, okay. As I do not understand this one entirely, and this is on me. Numbers 
are not linked to personas. They are linked to devices, or they are linked to personas. The, I, to my understanding, they are linked to devices. I would like to give him the number for my shitty metal link. Sure, you may give him the uh... my contact information. Yeah. Um, I, I will give him that. And if you could send me your mate's number, that might help me find myself something nice and shiny and tablet-like. Uh, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, I might even throw a little bit back your way. Uh, and uh, you will uh, hear from us again once your package is, you know, delivered. You know. Now, would you uh, would you like to uh, just so you know, it's an extra one hundred dollars if you would like the uh, the recipient to sign for it in a very you know sarcastic tone, not actually asking for money, making a bad joke. Sure. And he's gonna, and then, uh, he's gonna not get it either. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's great. He really is stupid. Um, and with uh, that, I, I will get up to, uh, you know, pick up the package and leave. I have proven my points here. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, balls in your court, guys. What do you want to do? Well, um, we're going to end up leaving here. Yep. Uh, yeah, I have I, a Ford Americar with six seats. But oh, our, I mean, oh, six seats. That's... Yeah, you could put the dwarf in the front and the troll can, can sit in the back. Yeah. Um, um, in case we wanted to go somewhere and sit around a table. But before I actually get out of this place, the, the, the waitress was nice and... and calm and whatnot and i'm just gonna I'm ask sure her how, how that you actually saw but sure yeah no i'm, I'm gonna ask her how often the tool bag in the corner actually comes in here uh so she's gonna go and look back it's like oh he um look mister i i, I just work here i don't want, I don't want any no trouble. no trouble it's no trouble i'm not here to hurt you i'm not here to hurt him yet just a curiosity. I mean, it comes around kind of often. Thank you. And I walk she, out. She looks significantly more nervous than when you guys came in. That's her issue. Oh. She shouldn't have had the fries. <laughs> um, <coughs> is there any way Tilt would have heard that? It's up to you guys. You'd have heard it me doing it sub vocally, yeah. Okay. Um I'll I'll I assume I was walking out in front as I just assume that's how the posse rolls in my head. Um so it will then turn around and kinda of wave you off and walk back to her and and just try to assuage her fears about you and doing mean trolly things to him. And maybe and maybe bribe her to not mention that to anyone. Do you want to just roll like a an etiquette test in there, and we can see um, how well you do just to to cool things down? <sighs> yeah, just misunderstood. Awesome. Yeah. At least just misunderstood. Aren't trolls always misunderstood? Yeah, but we have to make sure they know that since, you know, areas that we're in. I <laughs> um, just want to make sure that doesn't come back to bite us in the butt. Um, and with her told assuming, at the very best, that she has understood that you're just a misunderstood large man. Uh, I, will, I will then go and leave and go to my car. Sure. Where? 
I'll, I'll follow his car to him out to the car. I'm just going to be keeping an eye out on the immediate area because now that I've seen one of these guys, I want to try to keep an eye out for the other ones too. Okay. How obvious is it when I summon a spirit? So there's that. It depends a lot upon the force of the spirit, okay. and whether or not you suddenly fall over unconscious because I rolled really well on the fading or the drain. Gotcha. I assume if you do it in the back seat of my car. Yeah. Also, since my car is new and wasn't here in the pilot, I would, I would, I would like to share my concept of my Americar with everyone. Oh no. As, Yay. as as I added, I, I got the two thousand dollars for the extra seats. I assume the front is set up as a normal car. You know, there's the the seat transmission and stuff. The other seat, but the back opens up to like those sideways seats, like sideways bench seats on the back, kind of like a mini limo, mm. where everybody's feet kind of touch in the middle because it's right. not big. I assume if you fall asleep in the back there, it will be relatively not noticeable. That's up for, for you know, Rob to decide if that's totally cool for me to have asserted there. Sure. Yeah. Um, with my minor modification to my wonderful taxi mobile. Yeah, no, you're... Um, as a... Uh, you good, bro. As a place for you to, to maybe sit in the back of and phase out no that sounds good i will do that uh let's see here so i will summon a force four and it will be a spirit of man sure so for, forgive me but um is that car going to be big enough to fit me in the front maybe not in the front but definitely in the back yeah Okay, yeah, I was just I, I want to know where I needed to be so I didn't cramp the mage. I just need the back for a quick second. Oh okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm so I don't sorry. mind. I got my bike here anyway, because I got I'll have to move my bike. So I mean we can roll and meet up somewhere. Um That would be resisting eight uh drain there, sir. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't knock him That's out. The way you say it. <laughs> One, two, three. So, good news is it's only like five. Uh, can I do a? Can I use um, edge? You could use edge if you like. Okay. Then I will edge that. And one of the uses I've never let's see I've never actually used edge before. One of the uses I can re-roll all the failures, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I can re-roll ten d six. Sweet. Oof. There we go. That's much hey. better. You're fine. I'm good to go. Do you want to try again? <laughs> no. I mean, isn't that a, a, that's all I need, right? Uh, so you you got four successes. I got four successes. You have a net zero, which means you have zero services. Oh, so so when I resist the drain, that's yeah. That he is resisting being summoned, and his resist of being summoned is what causes you drain. Oh, yeah, dang! So, yeah, I guess I'll do it again. Something. What a dick spirit. <laughs> I mean, maybe you were trying you are in the area of a uh what should we call it? A highly racist area. So <laughs> perhaps uh Ah. Oh. That's not the right number of dice anyway, you got nine dice for that. Oh, I have nine? Can't what did I just re I'm re rolling failures, right? 
No, so you you attempted to to summon. Oh, spirit. so I attempted so that okay, got it. So I have to that, start all the way faded. over. Okay, I can't I can't do uh, what do you call it? Um, no, you can't, I can't edge, edge that. twice. And in this situation, since you summoned a force four spirit, you can only keep four of those successes anyway. And then just as a general thing, I don't allow people to to edge things after I have rolled. Because then it becomes like super gamey for you to like. All right, I'll wait and see what he rolls. Yeah, that's kind of meta gaming, yeah. Oh, so I, oh, I figured in this situation, I mean, if I'm trying to summon him and he resists, and then I, uh, I figured Edge was kind of like me pushing back a second time. Nah, nah, Edge's wow. protagonism points. Gotcha. Okay, and so, hmm, okay, from the top. I mean, what's the chances I can roll that well again? See? Now you've got two services, and you must resist two points of drain. Okay. Cool. See? You're good. All right, so I'm going to describe this man. You have, uh, you have seen him, so you don't even yeah. need to describe him. You just... Oh, okay. I don't have to. It's not like a conversation with like another, like a, with a regular NPC. He just kind of knows what I know. They don't like... It's weird because they don't really have a language, but it being your spirit, you guys are connected from like a... Okay. From like a... You're in a mem- a mental drift with them. Okay. You saw uh, Pacific Rim. Yeah. No, I know. You. Okay, I got you. Okay. That was a so, good movie. Then I will set my spirit to follow him. Um. Let's see. And how long does the spirit last? Till dawn, I believe. Yeah, dawn. that's what I was thinking. Dawn Is and twilight. Dawn? So if you want, oh, you it's could... dawn and twilight. Okay. Yeah. So as it's so like it... three o'clock in the afternoon, you could have. So it's only two hours. For the next like mm. three hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll have him do that then. I'll have him follow him for three hours. Um, I'll leave the instruction that if he goes somewhere, the spirit cannot readily enter. Like if it's warded or guarded from magic or from scrying, anything like that, then to not resist, just come back and report to me where he went. Sure. It uh, it zooms off to, you know, spy on him. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> um, from this point, um, I say it is planning what we do time. Proper, good planning. And as with the things that we did in the other time, I say we try to put like a 10-minute timer on, and if we keep going past that 10-minute timer, we sit down and think about why we're doing everything wrong. Um... That's me think because well, I mean, just the last couple times that we did it, it would just ended yeah. up rambling for forty minutes at a time. Yeah, and I definitely don't want it to be like what had happened last time or with what happened with group one, where an entire session was made of just going back and forth over the same things. Um, yeah. Well, I would sometimes that's necessary. Oh yeah, that's no nothing's wrong with that at all, especially planning a cross country trip. Yeah. Um. So we're going to want to find out the place, maybe drive yeah. by it a couple times, uh, figure out what security is like there, and how we actually want to go in to do this. Uh, uh, are, does this place offer tours? Yeah. I was actually going to take a step back here, right? That's if we want to actually do what he says we should do. I mean... Let's let's take up on the things that we know about him. One, he's stupid and is working for somebody else. So it's relatively 
I, I would say it's a relatively good shot that even he doesn't know what's in the box. And if he does know it in the box, he might not exactly know what's going on with what it is. You know, it's a pipe with stuff in it. Not it's a pipe bomb sort of deal. Second of all, we know that he's part of a super racist hate group. Third of all, from the cursory knowledge of what we've gotten so far, the place where we're putting this is a drink manufacturer that primarily sells to people that him and his hate group ultra mean hate group hate. And so, I found out what his favorite type of beer is. For for clarity's sake, the the brewery is a production and then goes into cases and then is distributed. They don't actually sell anything at the at the target location. Yeah. Uh, the, what I was getting more at is if we're going to, I assume, dump a thing into a giant vat of stuff, which is then primarily going to be sold to the demographic, which is metahumans, which guy hates. Yep, just, it is probably uh, a thing that is bad for them. Just saying. And Making clarity. I, yeah, thank you. Sorry. Um, and I, I kind of got the name of his favorite beer. And we could just basically do the same thing that he wants us to do. Not to the people he wants us to do it to. True. We certainly can. Question is, is that the reputation we want to earn for ourselves? Yeah, that's a very much a thing. And I really do want to get this fool to pay me money. This is true. Spoil his concept of, oh, shit, I just paid somebody who, yeah, oh, no, type deal. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just wanted to make sure that we knew that. Now, nobody ever said that the vat had to be in full. No. Or left that way. We could definitely minimize the amount of the batch that we probably contaminate by tossing it in at the end of a run or something. Or just or, accidentally tipping over the vat. I mean, okay, so I don't know a lot about beer making things sort of deal the only this thing is not i the... know about beer making is based upon a uh a, <laughs> like a, a house brewery that we used to go to a restaurant occasionally and they had like i could see it all and there was big vat things and stuff and that's about it that's yeah about it. um now this is this is a question that i feel for a concept that i'm having needs to be asked is there such thing as test batches? Is For there beer, such thing? Yes. Beer, all they usually have sample. They'll make a batch and then they'll before they put it into mass production, they'll actually taste test that batch, have private showings for that specific batch with a target group. Yes, that is very much a thing. Whether it's still a thing, I don't know. Because I mean, that would be us doing the job that they want us to do. And that would hurt, assumedly, the least amount of people. <laughs> that would probably would also hurt the most important people in that very specific instance. Being probably the workers who would taste the batch. Um, but I think that would be a good thing to aim for, like a test batch scenario. Something yeah, where he, never, he did not specify what we actually had to do. I mean, did he even say it had to be in something full of beer? Because I distinctly, and you know, I am a bit stupid um, as a person outside of the <laughs> game. So maybe I, I, you said this and I didn't hear it, but I don't remember hearing that it had to be a like a vat full of beer, I just heard that it had to be a vat that's close to the end of the production line. I may have have missed some of that. Yeah, I was going to say, I I may have missed some of that when 
I had to leave. <laughs> the kid? Um, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just looking for loopholes, really. Fultz's a mean person, but he's not completely amoral. I don't no, mind I mean, poisoning. He will end up beer. doing. I, Tilt would I'm prefer ju- not to poison the beer. But, I mean, he will, but he would prefer to find a way around it. He's vindictive, not psychopathic. Okay, yeah. so real quick, a uh, little, little player knowledge for me then. Um, what did you find out about this package? Do we know what it is? It's Sandy. It's Sandy. That's in, all in, we know. It's interior. He More gave it a shift of like a Christmas package. And do you ever have like a bunch of sand that you just kind of like. Sh- 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 sure, yeah. Sounded like that. Okay. Well, presumably we'd have to open the pack. Wow, I didn't actually think to ask that. It's a box. Right. We're not going to throw a box into a vat. We're going to throw the contents of the box into the vat. So we're going so to have exactly to look at this tell us, at some point. I was going to say, what exactly did he tell us to do? Did he say, take this box and put it in a vat? I. He wants the contents of said box into thing. Okay. So yeah, then we could absolutely open it up beforehand and probably get someone to run a test or something like that on it to figure out what it is. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I don't think I know anyone that's going to be of help there other than our favorite fixer. I'm going to say, if we talk to, yeah, we talk, just reach out and see if we've got any fixers that have any, you know, if they have any contacts that have medical knowledge. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so you, I have Aldo as a 1-1. One, one. If do you guys have anyone that you know better than a cursory glance into the shadow world of Germany? He's I a, have Wolf, who's a 3-1. He's the I one don't have anybody higher than a 2-1. He's not actually a 1-1. One, one. He's just kind of like a... I haven't a, attributed him any actual stats yet, because, you know... Okay. It's no just kind of like yet. throw him on there as a 1 1 so that you remember that you have him. Okay, so I have yeah. what is possibly less than a 1 1, or possibly more. Yeah. I got I got my bartender, but he's a 2 2. I mean, I, I have people that are much better stat wise. They're just completely, you know, somebody that owns a garbage business, I don't think is going to run drug checks for me. Aww. <laughs> I wish. Well, he may not run drug checks himself, but he might know someone. Um, like a chemist, someone who could do some sort of chemical analysis. Maybe he knows like a tech who works for a company. You never know what these guys, who these guys know. Uh, let's 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 play the who does Anastasia the uh, the garbage business owner um, know the game? If that's all right, we can um, play whatever game you guys like to. So, I would like to play that game. It would be connection times two plus loyalty. Yep. Be six, seven, eight. Anastasia is relatively connected. Um. So, so tell me a little bit about Anastasia. Ah, that is what I was going to say. Anastasia, um. Owns her own little garbage business. Now, I would assume if I know somebody that owns a garbage business, um, just for entire gameplay purposes, they shouldn't own a very large garbage business. So let's say, would you think C class business, D class business would be appropriate for me knowing a CEO of a tiny business? Um, I'll take E class. I'll take local. So I don't uh, know too much about how the the letters work outside of like when you get Triple. down that far as to what size they are. I I, I just picked low low <laughs> okay. letters because they sounded 
decent. Sure. Let me let me ask you this then. Um, how much of a shady person is she versus how much of a legitimate person? I would I would say that it is a relatively small operation that is not entirely completely <coughs> good book wise. You know, it is somebody that you could go here is a human sized trash bag. Could you put this in the back of the compactor for me? And they would be like, do you have money? And you would be like, yes. And they would be like, sure. Not going to ask about it. So um, let me ask. So I'm going to assume she is friends with a man who owns a junkyard who has one of those things that turns large cars into small cubes. Sure. Um, Yeah. So you're asking here for a chemist? Somebody that would, yeah, that general... I will take I will take either chemist by by trade, somebody that works at a shop that would do drug testing, or somebody that sells future meth or creates future <laughs> meth. Um, so she's gonna like I uh... bonus point of his name's Heisenberg. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. I don't really. Sorry, Chummer, I don't really know a uh, a chemist. I got a I got a doctor guy you could talk to, I guess. Doctor guy, I'll take doctor guy. Sure. Doctor guy is uh, he he might be uh, is he is he strict on the books kind of mate, or is he a bit more you know, you can get half price cyberware you know off of uh, the unfortunates sort of doctor. He's um, I don't think he has a license. How's that? Oh, I'll take it. Great. <laughs> He's been looking for some new patients. Yeah, that's what I am. Definitely a patient. Definitely. Ooh, actually. Yeah, patients. Brilliant. Give me a number, huh? How's it been? How's the kids? <laughs> Does she actually have kids, or are you just making flight conversation? I was just conversation. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I... Yeah. How's the wife? How's the kids? Okay. <laughs> Belligerent and numerous. <laughs> now you're getting into my family. What gives? <laughs> um, um, so she will give you a uh, a com code to a guy that is supposedly a street doc that has uh, no longer has a license. Yeah. Well... He's still in business, so he must know his way around at least a bit. So let's have at this. I'll give him a, you know, I'll do the niceties with her. Piss off. Uh, give him a call. I assume it's a him. Um, and call him up and be like, uh, hello there, mate. I hear that you are a, uh, a world-renowned doctor of sorts, huh? So he's going to answer the phone. Do you have, uh, do you have video on or just voice? Oh, I have to have every time he calls somebody he doesn't know he has to have video on. They have to know about the smolder. Okay. Um, so a a guy who let's say late thirties, early forties, he's got glasses that are that have been repaired. That kind of comb over, bad haircut kind of way, dark hair, um, and. A smile that, like, you know, hi, you know, how you doing? You have that smile and then it fades. That file, smile hasn't faded. It's still there. Yeah. Who are you? How'd you Sacred get this number? Oh, I believe we have a, uh, a mutual friend in a uh, mate of mine called Anastasia. Runs a, uh, you know, garbage business. Probably, you know. He, he blinks, but it's really like two winks. Ah. Like left eye, right eye. Yeah. It's like, oh, she is beautiful. <laughs> sure, mate. Whatever what floats your boat. Her? <laughs> oh well, mate. Uh, I've I've got myself in a bit of sticky situation here, mate. And uh, I was wondering if uh, you know your way around, uh, like a chemical testing lab or something like that. You know, I got my hands on something, and I would just, I would like to know what it is. He gets his face a little closer to the the camera. Take a look for her. Ah. Her. <laughs> Brilliant, mate. Uh, I'll take my uh, 
I'll, where can I meet you so we can have a bit of a talk about this, Sammy? Scar, I... I'll meet you at one of my practices. He he blink winks at you, and then a uh, a file transfer will pop up if you wish to accept. Oh yeah, yeah. on my metal link, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll be there today, practicing. Oh mate, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I will see you soon then. Huh? make sure you schedule a little bit of time in there for me. I'll, have I'll make your it worth your while. Uh, uh, hang up. Mm-hmm. Give him a smile. You meet the most interesting people there, Tilt. I do, don't I? It's a, it's a shame. I don't get to kill all of them. He's I mean, perfect. what? He's a perfectly nice guy. I don't know why you're so jumping the kill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna kill him. I'm, I'm, I'm. I am alluding to something that might happen to something that somebody else knows later. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna have a trip with the package over to our new weird Wink Blinky friend. I Mm. would enjoy other people to join me, (laughs) as I don't know how safe my body is in that place without guards. I, I, I will join you. (laughs) <laughs> if we were able to listen in on that conversation, Jurgen would absolutely say he is 100% going to kill you, Tilt. <laughs> that dude is going to carve you up into pieces and put you in, free- in a freezer. I-, I think that the best way to avoid that would be to say that if he did, she would not be happy. There's a point. I mean, I wouldn't hedge all my bets on that, but it's a good point. I'd had my I'd, I'd hedged my bets on guns though. Anyways, um, if anyone else would like to do something in the interim, I would be very happy to think about what I was going to do next. No, I'll be happy to you know follow along with that because I don't have any other point on that to be honest. Yeah, Jurgen. Ah, uh, no, that's fine. Okay, um, let's, I'll get in my Americar, uh, well, I'm still in my Americar, right? we'll take the Americar, uh, over to Creepy Guy's Practice, <laughs> which I can only assume is in a part of a town I don't want to take my Americar. So, um, it's not a great part of town, uh, well, unless you ask Jurgen, in which case it's an alright part of town. You know. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a. Uh... They have nice things here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jurgen. That's why we keep we're, you around. You definitely we're see have to talk later, Jurgen. A bunch of. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to call them undesirables because that would be mean to talk about Jurgen like that. But there's a lot of uh, street nomads <laughs> that you run across in this area. Uh, oh. s- most of the buildings are still. Occupiable, but as Jurgen probably knows, it's one of those uh, might makes right kind of situations. I will yeah. step. But uh, go ahead. No, sorry. There is a what looks like it was a small house with a garage attached that has a roll-up door. That is rolled up, and there is a light beckoning, beckoning you in. Um, let's go into the obviously not murder hut. I will go in first. <laughs> Please do. And I, I will, will look around. tightly grip. <laughs> oh, actually, actually, can we back up a few seconds here? Yeah. Because uh, we need to go back to the. What's in the package? Because I don't want to take him the whole package. Sure. You... That just seems like bad ideas. What would you like to put a sample of the the stuff that's inside? I, um... Shit, what would I have in a car? I don't have anything. I, mean, have, like, I, I would have... I would actually have a photo canister on my character, on my person. Look at this guy. That, 
that I could actually empty due to an acquired hobby during downtime. <laughs> Love it. Look how that's a lot better than what I was gonna do because I was gonna do like a cup <laughs> from future McDonald's. No. Uh, McHughes, yeah, I... actually. McHughes. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no, you have something you can you can put a little sample of this stuff. It is a. You guys ever do like the the kosher salt? How it has like the yeah. thicker. It's like that the kind of bigger grains. Inside. Yeah. They're like large Color grains too. of salts. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's I like the concept that he's just given us a bunch of salt to make a nasty batch of beer for people. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, this is just this. I mean, the, this was bad before, but now it's just this nasty, salty. I mean, I'm not sure I would spend another ninety nine cents on this. <laughs> um, okay, and then that's again back forward to hiding behind Krog as we walk into the obviously not murder hut. Um, um uh... so as you come up to the rolled up um garage door, the light is gonna cast shadows that seem longer and more menacing than they should because you've gotten in your own heads now from the from the sounds of things inside is various medical equipment uh do you, any of you guys have any kind of medical or chemistry related knowledges? I have knowledge on draw like fun drugs. You can roll that. Ooh, fun drug knowledge. Yeah. Um, Party drugs. I would definitely recreational say drugs. no. Okay. Other than shadow about... life and sprawl life, or shadow community and sprawl life, that's about it. I have knowledge underworld drugs. Like underworld Ooh, drugs or underworld with a specialization in drugs. Underworld specialization drugs. Okay. Um, there we go. I know lots of drugs. Damn. I'm good with drugs. All right, so there's a a wide variety of chemical compounds that at some point or another have a um, a size and shape similar to this. Uh, huh. There's way more hits than I was prepared for you to have, so... Um... Don't worry. <laughs> it was way more hits than I was prepared for me to have. It's... It's not quite fitting the description of any, like, party fun drugs that you're familiar with. But, you know, it could be something else. Oh, there's... Interesting. Wonderful. Great. But you guys will begin to hear the uh, the bubbling of beakers, and there's a little bit of smoke that's kind of just billowing about the, the top of this place. Um... You don't see your friend, the doctor, anywhere. There is a uh, a gurney with what looks like a metahuman-shaped lump in it as you guys approach. Can I roll a visual perception to see how homeless that dead body looks? I mean, totally alive body looks? So, yeah, no, you can go ahead and do it. Yeah, cool. I have no idea what that... Nine. 11, because... So, you will notice as you come up on it, the the body is, like, on its side, rolled away from you, and it has the same kind of hairdo that the doctor has. Oh! And you may ask me other questions about the environment that you find yourself in. Environment environment questions let's like, see oh sorry no uh looking around you said that this uh hearing from the previous conversation that this guy was working on like all kinds of different operations are there um cyber is there cyber gear around uh things like that so you don't see any like cyberware just kind of hanging out no like arms from the ceiling that kind of thing you will see crude implements of surgery okay uh, stuff that has seen better days yeah okay is there another room in this or another door in this there is a, a door open garage 
into the house. Well, if nobody has any objections, I'm going to go over to that door and knock on it. Um, before you do that, I would very much like <laughs> you to poke the obviously not dead body. I mean, I sure I will walk over and with a troll sized index finger poke the semi conscious laying there body. Yeah, you'll get one of those like, um, like the body will like kind of shift forward and then kind of rock back into its position. Um, and then a ghost is going to appear. Uh, I'm officially freaked. <laughs> um, you will see a ghostly image of what looks like the doctor kind of appear and he will like, don't touch it. Leave it alone. And then let me get the kind Anybody of else seeing this? I'm going to kind of cock my head sideways. I'm going to look at you're going to be like this. <laughs> no. Kill him with magic. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, like right. if, he's, if he tells me to kill it with magic, I'm going to do it. I mean, I mean, if we're gonna use me as a, I might, you know. I mean, Jurgen, you probably, you've probably done this, or you've like projected. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Like, you are yeah. a full magician, correct? Yes. Yeah. So you can totally sit your body down somewhere, leave it, and go flying around like a ghost. Oh yeah. Okay. I right, you just said ghost, so. <laughs> I mean, that's I what like, he looks oh. like. Oh, know. okay. To, to, to us laymans, that's exactly what he is. Gotcha. My bad. And he'll kind of float around for a little bit. And then, you know, his eyes will rest on Jurgen, And he'll do his blinking thing. And be like, I'll be right with you. I have a patient I'm attending to. Fair enough, Doc. And then he'll uh, kind of fade back into the astral for a moment. That's where I'm going to lean in. Don't you need to physically be there to treat a patient? I'm. <laughs> Tilt, tilts. With my visual test from earlier, are there any, like, elf sized cupboards anywhere? I mean, you could find some place to hide if you really wanted to hide. I, I just, I mean, I don't want to hide at the moment. Behind but... the troll? Um. I'm I'm just taking note of everything, you know. So, so you're actually like wandering about the room, touching stuff, or is this like a hands off, just kind of like, yep, that's a. Uh, let me just kind of look at that. That's terrifying. Um, okay, this is going to depend on a scale of tilt to Jurgen. How disgustingly dirty is this place? <laughs> um. So this is probably one step above being actually homeless. Uh, knowing that Looking. this guy has some kind of medical knowledge, he is, if you had to guess, probably not messed with because he could actually provide a service to the homeless people, sometimes perhaps whether they like it or not. Yeah, yeah I'm not, don't, 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 it's not going to touch anything. Okay. Just gonna look. Um, yeah, chemistry equipment, medical equipment. Uh, a couple of seconds after he says he's going to attend to the patient, he his body will begin to move, and he will kind of like roll off the gurney onto the bed or onto the ground. Um, and he'll kind of he'll turn around and be like, "What can I do to help her?" take a couple of steps towards Tilt since he's the one that called. You'll notice he walks with a limp. His right foot is a cyber foot that has like a hydraulic jack that's jammed and is stuck out a little bit. All right, mate. <laughs> um, question uh, on uh, that. Uh -huh. With the it being a cyber jack or hydraulic or whatnot, would that be something that would you need a specific skill to repair something like that? Uh, cyber technology skill would be what's... 
All right. So engineering wouldn't do anything with that. All right. Uh, not Good really, deal. No. Well, that's like, why I asked. Thank you. You could potentially, with a large number of hits and him cooperating, get it working. But he seems content to just kind of wander around, limp in a little bit. All right. Uh, I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to uh, take the uh, our little film canister. And I'll be like, all right, mate. She would like you to take this and tell me. What it is. I'll take it from you. Film canister. Thank you, smart arse. Um, I was obviously referring to the thing that is inside the film canister. So he'll... I can tell you that's a film canister. The troll can tell you that's a film canister. Oh, poor troll. Hey, did you just... That was awesome. He just called you dumb, Grog. <laughs> Um, so he yeah, will, I'm, keeping I, I'm gonna whisper sorry to Grug. I'm trying to make a point, not not he really will, be mean. He will pop it open and give it a little shake, left and right, kind of like you do a salt shaker. Give it a <laughs> blink, wink again, and then take his pinky and and jam it in there and then, and then start to like walk over to his equipment to kind of do chemistry stuff. He gives a little, like, as he, uh, is doing whatever it is that he's doing. Um, do you guys want him to call you when he's done, or do you want to sit and watch? How entertaining is watching him do this? I... Um, so it's gonna get entertaining pretty quickly. Um, I assumed because because he did the whole like laughing. eat the drugs I'm thing. I'm not leaving. Okay. Um, so he's, he's gonna, Igor and he took drugs. I mean, come on. He, he's gonna wander back and forth around this thing, and you'll notice as the, the time goes on, it'll get faster and faster, and he'll get more and more energetic about it, and he'll uh, like start knocking some stuff over a little bit, just because like he's yeah, 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 as his hands start shaking a little bit. Um, and just kind of, you have a little bit of drugs knowledge. You rolled really high on the roll. He's some kind of like speed, where his heart's going really fast, and he's kind. He's woo. Do you ever see? Uh, do you ever see Crank? Yeah. Yeah, kind of like that, where it's just got, yeah. Like, He's 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 running on the uppers. It's a very intense upper. Okay. Well, I mean, at this point, I realized I could have just drugged a random homeless person and got a much faster result. Um, are you guys still? Are you saying anything to him for a couple of minutes, or are you let him do his thing for? I'm gonna let him do his thing. Okay. You're again, Grog. Yeah, I'll just watch. All right. After I'm going to actually okay, ask okay. him if he's... Why is he getting so hyper? Um, he's going to give you a... A look over his shoulder. Eyes are, are wider than normal. Wink blinking back and forth a couple of times. like, <laughs> And then kind of go back to, to doing stuff. Um... Another moment or so after that, he's going to come back over to Tilt. And Tilt, do you back away as he limp approaches you very quickly? Yeah. Mm. He's not a tall Let's man. Let's play a game. He's not a physically imposing man. Um, I But he is acting crazy, and I'm going to let a little bit of dice rolling um, help me decide how my character is feeling right now. Okay. That sounds like a, a thing that we should do. He does. He does. Okay. He backs away a bit. Obviously uneased. Sure. So he's going to kind of like one hand up on the, the ch up on your chest and he's like strong stuff and he starts grabbing at his own chest. I guess. <laughs> and then just kind of like collapses in a pool at your feet. Uh, 
I have very cursory medical knowledge. Sure. I'll lean down. I have uh, I have a little. I have first aid and stuff like that. So I, I have first aid, but I got like two dice for it. No, I don't oh, okay. have first aid. Never mind. I have six. Does somebody yeah, have a first that. aid kit in the car? I have my. I have a med kit on me. Okay, it's in my backpack. Sure. Oh, because you don't have a car. Because you're homeless. I don't have a car. I'm because <laughs> I'm homeless. Everything is on me, including your stank. <laughs> Are you comfortable oh, I with that to... level of success? No, I actually messed up because it's actually... it's. Uh, I forgot I need to add the rating of the med kit to my roll. Okay. Uh, let's see. If, if it I... helps any, I do have a s couple stim patches. I also have a slap... I have a slap patch stim patch as well. Does that... Would that... I, that how, wouldn't help me with the... How much medical... That doesn't help... Me mechanically, that does not help with this. But how much medical knowledge do you have as a character? Uh, I have six dice... As far as how, how I have ranks in the skill, do you have? Oh, uh, ranks in the skill. I think it's just one. And that's in first aid, or that's in medicine. In first aid. Okay. It's one plus my logic. Got it. Yep. So go ahead and roll your uh, with your med kit in there too. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, <clears throat> look at you go. I know. Somebody's feedbacking. Oh God. Sorry that. Was that me? It seems to have stopped the nail if uh, if it was you. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there it's back again. No, it's gone again. Alright. This is also why yeah, I need an audio editor. No? It's 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 Jurgen. Oh, was it me? Yeah. I think so. That's weird. I have I'm on, I'm on a headset. Are you microwaving something? Yeah, it's not like feedback, feedback. It's like um, coil line feedback, sort of. It's just like a high pitched whir. Not as much of a. We can hear ourselves. Seems to have gotten cleared up now. So with yeah. a million hits on your first aid, Odd. it's going to be a little, a little touch and go. But this man will survive. Um. Yeah, uh, you got a bunch of hits. So, ask me a couple of questions about what happened, and I will be happy to to give you some kind of answers that the med kit okay. is spitting out at you. So, you know, is his, what's his heart rate? His heart rate for a while was really high. The med kit prescribed that you use use the blue bottle to bring his heart rate down. Okay. And then let's see here. What about like uh, let's go temperature, heart rate, BP, um, respiration. Does his breathing seem labored? You know, like cover most of your cover the ABCs of uh sure of um, first aid for the for the basic stuff. Like his his temperature is elevated because his heart is pumping a lot of uh blood and drugs around. He's, you know, sweating, probably also related to that. And um, shortness of breath just from, like, the, <laughs> you know, kind of accelerated stuff. Okay. Um, does the med kit spit out any other information about, like, um, hmm, I'm trying to think, what, would the, what does the med kit tell me, I guess? Like, uh... Does it tell me anything about like? Can okay. I run like a blood test? Um, probably. Like, so this you could potentially do a basic blood test, just to like blood type that kind of thing, but not like in depth. What's in his system right now? Gotcha. Um, okay. But it, the med kit is telling you that it seems like he was having a heart attack. Okay, got it. What med type was he again? He was a human. Human. And that might have been why, because this is supposed to be going into stuff for orc yeah. controls. Which are hardier, but More this hardy. sort of thing. Yeah. I, I have a thing I want to do, but it is 100% fine if we don't do it. He, 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 he like took like a little bit of it on his finger and kind of did the whole so, drug thing, right? 
if you were to lick like the first knuckle of your finger and stick it in a big ass thing of sugar, and then stick that yeah. in your mouth, um, no, oh, just gave a seven year old a Mountain Dew then, huh? Yeah, maybe you don't know too much about this guy's physiology himself. You don't know what's uh, what else he had in his system that may have made things better or worse. And you don't know yeah. how it will interact with other things. Um, I am going to go out on a limb here. And it is entirely fine if we... I want to go out on a limb here, and it's entirely fine if we don't do it. Grog, are you any on... You know, are you on any drugs at the moment? No. Would you mind taking just a wee bit of that drug and see what happens? It obviously won't kill you. <laughs> for science. You just threw the for science thing at me? Really? I did, but I don't count. Yeah, I know. Um... Ugh. Sure, why not? All right. I'll, um... I'm not going knuckle deep, though. <laughs> no, just a bit. No. I, I, I mean... Uh, no. I don't got that math on me. Just and I'm going to I'm going to look at him and I'm going if I die I'm coming back to haunt you. <laughs> I'm just telling you now. I won't let you die mate. I mean come on. <clears throat> We've got a doctor right here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on the ground just about crying cuz that does wonders for my confidence in this. Trust me mate. What could go wrong? Those words. Don't utter those words and get Murphy involved on this. All right. Yeah. Bamps, I'll do it. <laughs> Sir, could you go ahead and roll me body plus willpower? Sure. I can do that. Now, question for you in regards to that. My bone lacing adds two to my body. Will that For come damage in? resistance yeah. tests only? That's why I'm at. That's why I'm asking. Yep. I'm making sure. Are you feeling? How are you feeling about this? I don't know yet. That's why I'm looking at my. I'm looking at everything here. I'll, I'll be rolling twelve dice. Yep. By the looks of it, because the bone lacing doesn't go in, my dermal skin doesn't go in because of my race the ortho skin doesn't go in because of my race once again so it's literally just the nine and the three so it's 12 um Excuse me. no i'm gonna edge it okay i was i was gonna ask if you were comfortable with that yeah with three successes not so much so what, just do the same thing over again? Uh, nine dice this time. The dice that you did not get successes on. Nine dice. Ooh, hey, how about I add the correct nomen this this time? There you go. Yes, I feel comfortable with nine successes. <laughs> nine successes is pretty good. So that is more than I can good get enough. successes. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that troll physiology. So you're gonna you're gonna take this drug, and it's gonna, you know, sit in your stomach for a while, and you'll see tilt, and probably you're getting just kind of looking at you very expectantly for a minute. Um, I feel like a big, a big. Dead gum guinea pig. <laughs> um, you're going to feel warm. Your heart's going to start, you know, beating a little bit. And the edges I'll of your... I'll describe it as it happens. Sure. Uh, and the edge of your vision is going to start to just get ever so slightly red. 
and with that.